Merhaba, bugün e, Faro plajındayız, yani yaşadığım yerdeyiz ve sonunda sizi arkadaşlarımla tanıştıracağım. E, burada hep belirttiğim gibi birçok ülkeden birçok farklı insan var ve elimden gelince az kişi seçmeye çalışacağım ve onların e, neden burada olduklarını, en sevdikleri şey ne, işte Faro ile ilgili ne düşündükleriyle ilgili kısa kısa röportajlar yapacağım. Bu video İngilizce olacak ama aşağıya mutlaka altyazı ekleyeceğim zaten. Biraz heyecanlıyım. İngilizce konuşurken hata yaparsam kusura bakmayın. Umarım keyifle izlersiniz. O zaman başlayalım. I'm from California. I recently completed my master's degree. So I was doing a two year study of coastal and marine systems and just finished in December. I came to Faru to study. I studied marine biology and nowadays I, I work in an aquaculture where I work with seaweeds. I farm seaweed in an integrated way to recycle water within the fish farms, let's say. I'm Justin, I'm from Australia. So I just finished my international master's in marine biology. Just finished my master's thesis here in Faro last September. I am from Sao Paulo, Brazil, mm -hmm. and I am doing my master's degree here in University of Algarve mm -hmm. with marine biology. I'm Sophie. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm from Germany, from the very, very south of Germany, close to the, close to the Alps. And yeah, I, I studied biology in Germany. And then in, yeah, in 2018, I moved to, to Portugal, to the Praia de Faro. I did two years of marine biology, the master. There is so many people are working in this area, like uh, about oceanography mm -hmm. and marine biology. Yes. So like, uh, what is the occasion like? It's because of the university or? I think the university has a great um, research institute, but it's mm -hmm. also the location. So you can't tell right now where we're sitting, but just on the other side of this little island here, there's the Ria Formosa, which is this incredible estuary system. Mm -hmm. um, and Portugal has is largely dominated by a coastline throughout the country, so yeah. I think in terms of um, location, being in Fado is a perfect place to study ocean sciences and marine biology. I'm from Porto and uh, when I was looking for a master's, I'm a biologist. I was looking into studying aquaculture and uh, I thought that within my country, the Algarve and Fado was the, uh, the only opportunity to have here was the best choice I could have, so I came here without knowing what I would find. I was working before with marine biology already. Some people that uh, was working with me in this project already uh, studied here and they said to me, Gabi, you need to go to, to Faro. And then I applied to, to the master yeah. and I am here and they said to me, Gabi, you need to live in Praia de Faro and go there. And I came here and uh, I started to, to leave. It was kind of sp spontaneous because I did the International European Master program and we had like quite some choices, but I really want to see the sun and, you know, experience the, the beach and in Portugal and all of this. And yeah, it was like, as I said, like two years ago and I really, really really like Faro so much. So with the master's program, I started at the University of Ghent in Belgium, and then I went to Spain, uh, Finland, Sweden, Norway, and then uh, we had our symposium in France, and then for my thesis period uh, here in Faro, Portugal. That country is that you studied in master, which one was your favorite, like Faro or? Um, in terms of lifestyle, definitely Portugal. Yeah, okay. Faro here, okay. lifestyle for sure. I'd always wanted to move to Europe and had traveled a lot throughout Europe but just felt like the lifestyle and the appreciation for friends and family and a slower pace of life was really appealing. So I quit my job, I applied to the master's program here in the Algarve and I started a two-year journey of living a simpler life and making amazing connections with people here. Honestly, most of the people here are not from Faro. I'm Portuguese, okay, like I can handle that, but I'm not from here too. I can handle that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's the truth. So um, that's why the beach, because after getting to know it and understanding that we are all in the, the same position 
and and still we are all from different parts of I guess of the world yeah uh, it's like amazing just to find that kind of connection and learning about that it's a process of growth I think for me the the best thing in Pre de Faro it's the people even like the nature it's amazing it's like you can wake up in the morning and see the sunrise yeah. in the Ria Formosa and then in the end of the day you see the sunset on the beach so that yeah. is super special and then you can walk to Barinha, you can surf, you can run, you can bike to Ludo it's really a uh, special this place yeah. but uh, the people are super kind and lovely all the the people, even the, the abroad or the, the Portuguese, it's really a community. You can go to, to have a dinner together or just to, to pass time or to, to do something else, to hang out. And this is really special. Yeah. Beach life, I mean, I would say, if it comes to my mind, it's like cycling, like, you know, cycling around, like going to university, going to work and like always switching between like the life here and then like uh, going somewhere having i don't know a lot of fun <laughs> a lot of uh, nature outside sports friends like meeting people uh, having coffee <laughs> yeah. yeah and living also with the the light you know like in the evening it gets dark and then there's not so much things to to do here it's quiet it's nice I feel so grateful to have um, a better work-life balance now. When I was in California, it was insane. The long commute times and just the expectations of work. Mm -hmm. And now I get to choose when I wake up in the morning if I want to go surfing for a couple hours and then go to uni and get some work done. And mm -hmm. I think that I'll get up, I'll make a cup of coffee, I'll check the waves and um, I decide if I go to campus or stay here, um, mm -hmm. or if I want to pop down the street to have another coffee with somebody else. So yeah. it's, very, it's very relaxed. I think it's unusual. Mm -hmm. um, and if one were to have a normal working schedule, you would have to adjust, but there's always the ocean right out yes. your back door. Being in such a contact with nature is really good. So getting out of the, the city noises and even people itself, like the kind of isolation you can get here brings you some different perspectives, I guess. And also um, the people, the people that I've the just met. Yeah. yeah, the people that I've just met here. This is a community that no one says or said, let's make a community, you know, it just like grew up, like it just appeared like that. So I could say that that's it. That's what keeps me here. The nature, I don't know, like the sunrise, the sunset, they are like super amazingly beautiful, like a painting. And I really enjoy it, like to be kind of in between the, the civilization and the, and the city, you know, and like the, the life there and being here not so far away, but also like super at the beach and the ocean and having all this, this nature around me, I really, I love it, yeah. For me, if I were to hop off this scooter, Mm -hmm. and walk down this way yeah I take I don't, 15 seconds and yes. I'm at the beach so I'm very much a water person uh, I'm getting back into surfing I love diving I love being connected to any water body whether it's sweet water or ocean water yeah. but I think having that proximity to the ocean is one of the most precious things about the beach Yes. And the other is this beautiful community and yeah. getting to know you and finding people that are just so open and kind and very supportive and fun and want to share a meal, want to share a new connection, want to learn something. Yes. And that's been the biggest gain that I've had from living here is this connection to nature, access to nature and just a really beautiful community. The best thing apart from the obvious beauty of it is, uh, is is the community, the sense of community. I think a lot of people here have the similar sort of sense of values. We all come here because we're studying marine biology or natural sciences. And so when you align, you know, being in such a beautiful place with beautiful people, it, it's really, really magical. Yeah. Almost everyone said the same thing actually yeah. for discussing <laughs> yeah, community, yeah, like uh, sure. nature and community. I actually kind of um, 
uh, I say that you know Portugal is like the Australia of Europe because oh, like, really I think it, it's got such natural beauty and the coastlines are very very similar it's I don't know I can't it's hard to hard to shake that idea okay yeah, okay nice. I will check Australia <laughs> later thank you so much that's no all worries. Thank you. that's all <laughs> <laughs> you're real nice thank you. thank you so much it was yeah. fun and it was my first time talking English through the camera so I hope I didn't make so much mistakes. Cut. Thank it's okay? You. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> Thank you we so don't have to do much. Again. And somebody's passing. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to water us. <laughs> <No>. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See. Okay, uh, Beach life. yeah, yeah, it's really, it's so nature now, <laughs> I like yeah. it. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah.